What's going on guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio Labs. About a year ago I tested a DS18 amplifier that said 7,000 watts max. And I couldn't even get the RMS numbers that were on, that were in the manual. So I kind of gave them a hard time, told them, hey, DS18 smacking a consumer. <laughs> anyway, this is 2021. DS18 has got a new line of amplifiers that's come out. And they sent me one along with some goodies here to entice me, I guess. But hey, Big D keeps it real. Let's take a look at this amplifier. Let's pull it out of the box, see what it's all about. And here we have it. You can see the voltmeter there display on the outside. Let's take a look at the model. This is a 2021 Hooligan KO SPL series. This one in particular is the 2000 watt RMS model. And it's the H-K02. As you can see at our affiliate, Down for Sound, it sells for $4.99 for a 2000 watt amp. I know that's what some of you guys are saying, but hey, this thing is made in Korea. It's a half bridge amp. It's designed to handle low ohms. So yeah, you guys like the Korean amps, you gotta pay a little bit more for them. So let's see what else is in the box. Of course, we get the remote base adjustment here. It does have the clipping indicator. It is a metal enclosure. And it does have the telephone style connector. And yeah, we really like this very smooth temp potentiometer. So let's switch over to the manual. And here we can see on the far left side, 950 at four ohms, 1500 at two ohms, 2000 at one ohm, but it also says 3600 burst at half an ohm. What's that all about? Well, I guess we'll find out here when we do the test. Here's the exterior. You can see it's a black color more of a squarish shape than rectangular. And it has the voltmeter there display on the outside with the power protect and clip indicators. It does have Tiffany style RCAs. It has the metal potentiometers, which we really like, including the gain control, which goes from six volt to 0.2 volts, subsonic from 10 Hertz to 50 Hertz, bass boost from zero to nine dB. That is fixed at 45 Hertz. It does have the remote base connection as well. Low pass filter 250 to 35 Hertz, zero to 180 phase. And then you have a switch for the output master or slave. And then you have dual speaker outputs, even though it's a mono block amp, you can hook up either two speakers or a dual voice coil. On the opposite side, very basic, just has zero gauge for power and ground. And also the remote connection terminal. As far as the footprint goes, 10.6 inches long by 9.7 inches wide in addition to the millimeter equivalents there. And as far as the height, 2.85 inches or 72.5 millimeters. Now here we'll power the amplifier up so you can see the voltmeter on the top there, 14.6 volts, red power LED. We are ready to go. So let's fire up the good old SMD, Demore Engineering Amplifier Dyno. Test out the output of this amp. Before we do that, make sure you smash us a thumbs up and check out the links in the video description for some Wilson Audio merch. So you won't be a big dummy. First off, four ohms mono rated 950 watts at 14.4 volts. Let's roll it up to 1% THD. Oh, 926 for a little bit short. All right, I don't want you guys to get too bummed because I'm gonna foreshadow this for you and tell you that it's gonna do better. But let's try the uncertified test next at four ohms. See what we get, our voltage has dropped a little bit below, but we got 934 at 14.26, it's rated 950. That's really within the tolerances of the components, but hey, it didn't get the 950, so gotta give them a little bit of a slap. As far as dynamic, we are right at the 14.4, and it looks like we're not gonna again reach the 950 that it's rated, but we're so close, 939. And here is the part that really gets me, the efficiency, 94% efficient at four ohms. That is among the best that I've ever tested. Next up, two ohms is rated 1500 watts at 14.4. Can it redeem itself? Let's see. Yes, it can. 1512 right at 14.38 volts. And unfortunately, I did not have the clamp meter set properly but we will fix that by running it again after we do all these other tests here. Let's try the uncertified test up to clipping and see what we get here. Again, rated 1500 watts. 
voltage is dropping a little bit below 14.4 but we still got 15 ooh, look at that over 1600 watts 1604 at 13.96 so we dig that now let's reset the dyno here for the dynamic burst mode at 40 hertz sends a pulse tone into the amplifier at 40 hertz and yes easily does that 1500 actually over 1600 and keeps climbing 1653 at 14.14 now let's run that certified test again so that we can get the efficiency numbers here and you can see we got 1483 we're a little bit under with the voltage so again we're going to give it a pass there because we know it does 1500 watts never is going to do exactly the same with two different dyno runs but 87 percent efficient at two ohms that's what i'm talking about you hardly ever see an amplifier that efficient, or at least I don't in my test. All right, next up, one ohm, rated 2,000 watts at 14.4 volts. Let's see what we get here, certified to 1% THD. Oh yes, 2190, DS18, you have gone and... Totally redeem yourself! For all the English language people out there, yes, that would have been totally redeemed yourself, since we're talking about a company but I didn't have a clip where somebody said that. So y'all just take it for what it's worth. They did its power. Let's check the uncertified test here. And you can see, look at this, over 2,500 watts at 14.14. So I'm impressed, color me impressed. Reset the dyno here, try it dynamically. Can we get even more power dynamically at one ohm? Apparently we can. <laughs> Look at this, 2812, is it gonna go any higher? Nope, 2812 at 14.34, 40 hertz dynamic. What about that efficiency? I know you're asking, check this out. 80% efficient <laughs> at one ohm certified, crazy, that is awesome. Now, the amp is rated half an ohm, 3600 watts burst. And I usually don't show you these tests this early, but we're gonna do it. Check this out. Half an ohm burst, over 14 volts, over 4,000 watts. You big dummy. All right, all seriousness aside, or all joking aside, I guess I should say, let's take a look at the results, or at least most of them. I have some of them blanked out because I'm just doing that and making you guys stay to the end of the video to see them all. But you can see, other than the 4 ohm test, we met the rated power and got more 2 ohms and 1 ohms. So thumbs up there, digging that. Now, the do it bump dose segment. Now, unfortunately, my microphone was not working properly. So you guys are just going to have to watch the speakers flex here. And I'm going to show you the little bass knob. And I'm going to show you when it hits the clipping point here because the little light's going to come on. So clipping indicator was working as uh, advertised and it actually made these subwoofers sound really good. They were jumping out of the box. I know a lot of people complain that it sounds like a tractor when I play this part because there's so much air rushing out of that port that's in the center, and unfortunately it just makes it sound like a choo-choo-choo. But uh, they were bumping really good, lots of controlled flex, and I was impressed. It definitely sounded like they were getting enough power to power them well. And here's a slow motion clip for you little bit of extra flex action going on. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's take a look to find out what's inside this Korean half bridge class D amplifier. Let's take the six screws off the bottom, pry it up like Richard and put it to the side because there is an active fan on the bottom which has a, it's a brushless fan. Can you believe that? Hey, all fans and amplifiers are brushless. Glad all you people told me that before. It made me look like a big dummy. So here is the amplifier, the flyover shot, the million dollar shot, 2200 microfarad, 100 volt on the rails, 2200 microfarad, 25 volts on the input filtering. And there you have it, the gut shot. Now, right after I did the test with the subwoofers, I got out my thermal camera. Thank you, FLIR. Actually, don't thank you, FLIR. I bought it myself. <laughs> but the highest temperature I measured was one, around one of these chokes, 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 54 degrees Celsius and that was after some hard playback so 
that's not too bad at all. But don't you guys just dig these thermal images? Isn't that just the coolest thing? And it has the overlay here so you can actually see some of the components. But I really like this uh, FLIR camera. I wish I had an HD version, but maybe in the future. Let's talk about the good stuff now. Rated power achieved in all ohms except for 4 ohms. Has 1 ohm inputs, Tiffany, RCAs, remote base with clip indicator and the telephone style connection on that. They are linkable so you can hook up multiples. Has a variable subsonic filter. We always dig that. Metal potentiometers, they just seem more quality than the plastic ones that some of the cheaper amps have. Stable down to half an ohm, we'll find out. Voltage display on amp. High efficiency, Korean half bridge design. It is actively cooled with a brushless fan. Tell your mama if you don't like the way I said that. Could be better. Bass boost is fixed at 45 hertz. We'd like to have that variable for different frequencies. Cost versus other 2000 watt amps. Yeah, you gotta sell that. We think it has 12 dB per active crossovers, but it doesn't really say. But overall, I would say the DS18 has redeemed themselves with this new line of Hooligan KO series amplifiers. Again, this amp was sent to me, but you guys know I'm gonna tell you like it is, and this one performed well. Make sure you stay tuned till after the credits. More cool stuff, Big D, I'm out of here. All right, friends, as promised, we're gonna do some low ohm testing. It says it can do half an ohm dynamic. Let's try 0.8 certified, 2416 watts. So yes, power keeps going up. Let's reset it and do the uncertified test here at 0.8. Counting up, counting up. Oh yes, woo, look at that. 3,107 watts at 14 point one five volts. What about dynamic burst at 0 0.8? Over 3,000. Oh, look at that. Jumped up. 32.86 right at 14.4. Gotta love that 14.4 result for the win. Now, we're going to drop it even lower. Let's try 0.67 certified. Can it do it? Looks like it's doing it no sweat. 25.44 at 14.3. Now we're gonna skip the uncertified test for anything lower than 0.8, just because that uncertified test is brutal. Here we go, look at this. Over 3,500 watts, almost 3,600 at 0.67. And earlier we showed you the half an ohm burst, but here we're showing half an ohm certified. 2,629 watts. You have gone on and totally redeem yourself. Here is the final test. Again, guys, the amp was sent to me, but <laughs> no holds barred here on the test. We can't lie with the numbers. Everything is legit. It did not get the four ohm rating, but it did get the other ratings. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget guys, more videos coming. Check the video description for all the links. If you want to buy this, if you want to support me, I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, Big D working on more tests.